I ain't even. I gotta have his roses tonight. Okay. I ain't even touched the smoothie. I wish. Everybody's everybody good. I hear coughs. <laughs> oh shit. Isaiah, who I know has been under the weather, hit a big three. Um, what did you think of that shot? And then that, that got you guys on a 10 to two run where you kind of were able to, to get control of the game. What, what happened on that run? What did you think of Isaiah's shot? Um, just on that play, Coach A just told Dan to come set a screen for me. And I knew if I could hold my man off there, help long enough where I could find Zay in the corner. And no one Zay, I knew he was going to knock it down. But that definitely got us going. After Zay made the three, we got to stop, hit another three. And then Dan got fouled, so it just started another run for us to end the game, the run that we really needed. Um, you guys held them under 30% shooting. Tom Crean, their coach, they missed a lot of close-in shots. What would you think of your all's defense tonight? Defense? Defense. Defense has been real good lately. We've been taking pride in it a lot, knowing – Knowing that if we can play good D, we can be in a lot of games. Now we just got to bring the offense along with the defense. But the defense tonight was great. Hey, Mason, when uh, Daniel Gafford came back in, I think it was like 1130 or something around there, uh, just how much did that energize you all for the final stretch of the game? Oh, that did. That did a lot. Knowing Daniel you're going to bring a lot of people towards him, that's going to open shots up for, for our whole team. So having Dan on the court, having his energy, just having him vocal, just talking to us is just real good. Yeah, you guys as a team, I think, blocked 14 shots tonight. And Dan and Reggie, I think, had nine of them. Just what did you think of the way you protected the rim? I didn't even know that, to be honest. But um, I was in the, the, uh, the moment of the game. I just seen people's shots keep getting blocked. So I'm like, keep doing what you're doing. But it was good to see that Dan and Reggie was blocking a lot of shots. And then you got to give credit to Adriel for blocking a lot of shots and giving us good energy. Hey, Mason, just picking up another SEC win after the break where you played Texas Tech to kind of get this team rolling here as the uh, second half of the season kind of comes to a close before the tournament. Um, we didn't see. Oh, it was good to get a win at the crib. It was good to see us keep developing as a team, knowing that Texas Tech, it wasn't a fluke that we played good of a defense. We brought it again tonight. So as long as we keep learning, as long as we keep fixing our errors, then we're growing, and that's that's a good thing to see. And I know that Coach emphasizes that we should just keep growing as a team and keep working hard. So that's all we're doing. Yeah, Mason, they had they had 16 turns. You only got four. So you guys were four to one on turnover ratio against them. Well, what was the key to the ball handling? Um, you guys only turned over four times, and Daniel had three of those. Hold on, we only turned over four times. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's good, that's good, that's good. Um, coach always tells us, the, like in practice, we have a board, a turnover board. Usually I'm the leader of it, so I need to work on that. But it's good to see our team controlling the ball, handling the ball, just knowing what, to, what plays to make and what to do with it. I don't know if you thought about this, but you, this is the first back-to-back -back SEC games you guys have won. Um, do you feel like you can – get on a roll even with a lot of tough teams coming up? Uh, all I'm going to say is we're just going to keep working hard and just keep be getting better every day. Keep building the confidence that we're building as a team because we're building a lot of confidence in that locker room. So as long as we keep building that, it's going to be real good. I know you like to try to have fun. So what's it like to uh, get everybody free chicken tomorrow with that free throw you made there at the end? I didn't even know. I didn't know why everybody was so quiet. And what, and then I understand at the end of the game why everybody was clapping for me because uh, I got them free chicken. But <laughs> getting back on that play, I should never miss the first free throw. I take free throws real serious, like, for me. So missing a free throw, I don't harp on it. I just know I got to get back in the gym, work on that. So I'm glad I can get them people free chicken. Yep.